Hello, is this Kamachi? Yes, Othanus. Is that you? Yeah, how you been, man? Uh, it's just been a while since I talked to you, and I just saw that you're going to release Genesis Testament Volume 6 in April. I cannot wait to see what amazing new abilities that you're going to give Accelerator with his use of vector manipulation in this volume. Oh, of course, I don't want to say anything right now, but let's just say not even Anos with his sword could beat him now. Holy fucking shit. Are you serious, bro? You are the best fucking author ever. Fuck Dragon Ball Riders. Fuck the JoJo Riders. Fuck Attack on Titan Riders. You're the fucking best. I wish the author of Attack on Titan would take notes from you on how to write a good, well-developed story with good fucking characters that have good character development. Not fucking Aaron. He's kind of a bitch, isn't he? Sometimes, Othanus, you can't help everyone in the world. Aaron is a little bitch and his attitude can suck a dick, but at least his final Titan looks pretty okay, I guess. Anyways, thanks for letting me know about the new Genesis Testament Volume 6 coming out in April. I cannot wait to read it and I cannot wait to see Accelerator's new feats. Of course, anything for you. By the way, yeah, Aaron's still a little bitch. Isn't it fucking great we get a new volume of Genesis Testament and we get more accelerator feats that put him above the level of Anos with his broken ass sword? Finally! Okay, for real, I'm actually really excited to see you and read what it's about. I was also dead ass serious about Aaron being a fucking little bitch. Fucking people that think Aaron is a well written character suck a fucking Dick. And these people that think that he's well written are the same fucking people that actually think Dragon Ball Super has good fucking writing. Hate to break it to you fucking degenerates, but Aaron is not well written. Accelerator is well fucking written. Hop off my fucking nuts. Now, while I do hate Aaron and I'm not a huge fan of Attack on Titan, I gotta give respect for Levi. This man is a fucking badass. Jesus fuck, if I was gay, I swear to God, I would fuck. Also, talking about Attack on Titan, their newest opening, it was okay. Nothing too special, in my opinion anyways. But it like, what, topped the charts for best rock heavy rock songs or some shit? I don't know, I heard it from a friend. But Othinus, you don't have any friends! Suck my right fucking nut! But come the fuck on guys, give us more heavy metal openings, like fucking King's Game, Parasite, Brynhildr of Darkness. Bro, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas' Screamer is fucking insane. Bro, just- <laughs> Also, what the fuck are the animation studios doing? Where the fuck are heavy metal opening rock songs? Use them more for anime intros like this. That was fucking amazing. What the fuck is up your dumbass assholes? Fucking garbage ass studios and <coughs> JC staff. If you guys enjoy my videos, feel free to subscribe, leave a like on the video because I know you have nothing else to do and comment more verse about topics you would like to see in the future. Here guys, let me tell you something very important. If you guys don't like this video, I will get in my fucking Batmobile. I will drive to your fucking shitty $2 house, break down your door with my 18 inch and I will steal your dog and make it mine. Wait, you don't have a dog? Then I will take whatever fucking animal you have. Wait, you don't have an animal? Ah, Pick fuck it. I'll just take your fucking PC then. And I'll fucking take it to Niagara Falls and throw that shit in the fucking water, bitch. As many of you guys can tell, this time we're going to be talking about Zeno. Xenos? Zeno? I don't fucking know. What a stupid ass name. Now let's get one thing clear. Why the fuck did you want me to talk about some fucking discount looking fucking Teletub? Look at this, man. If Xeno was to come into real life, he would literally look like a shitty discounted version of a fucking Teletubby. Wait, what the fuck is that? Damn, that's some pretty fucking dark shit. I wonder if there's a dark story behind it. Oh. Uh... Maybe this is better. Yep, I see the resemblance. Now I know where the author got their inspiration from when they're creating Xeno. Accelerator is here once again for another video. Let's go! But while I do love talking about Accelerator over and over and over, you motherfuckers need to relax. Jesus Christ, I am running out of good fucking pictures to use for Accelerator. Like, I'm not even fucking joking. Like, there are many, like, decent pictures, but, like, the good pictures are fucking being used. Oh my god. Like all my other videos that involve Accelerator, the Vector got is back, and I can't say that enough. With his platinum wings, with the best team and contracts to him, Cleave Puzzle 545. Bro, JC staff, fucking make this shit happen. Happen. Animate New Testament. We all want to see an animated version of Accelerator with his fucking platinum wings forcing Corazon out of her fucking body. Also, Kamachi, you said this on Twitter. It seems that we are preparing for a lot of projects. And then you say, please wait for a follow up report? Bro, what the fuck do you mean by that? I swear to God, if it's a fucking New Testament announcement, I will fucking run outside butt ass naked, get my friend to record me, and I will scream, fuck. 
Fuck me, Daddy Comedy. Okay, I won't actually do that. But I swear, if it's a New Testament announcement, holy fucking shit. All right, sorry. Getting a little sidetracked now. Going back to Zeno, why did you want me to talk about this fucking disgusting discount Teletubby looking head ass bitch? Okay, look. Xeno is the most powerful Dragon Ball Super character. Sorry, it's hard to take Dragon Ball seriously when their characters are named after fucking vegetables. Don't fucking believe me? Look at Kakarot. Carrot? Piccolo. Pickle. Granola. Granola. See? Fucking stupid. But what can I expect from Dragon Ball fanboys? I just suck Goku's small little fucking I'll never understand why people always say Goku can beat Accelerator. I still get messages telling me to do a video again about it. Also, there's a fucking Xeno Goku now? What the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? It doesn't matter which Goku it is. The result will always be the same. And every single time Accelerator were ever to fight against Goku, it would always end and be like this. <laughs> Okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. It never gets old. I used that in my very first video like fucking months ago and it's still, I just fucking love watching this shit. Talking about Goku makes me want to fucking climb up to the top of a fucking volcano and jump in where I can fucking burn myself to fucking death. Fuck Goku. Xeno doesn't really have any combat ability. He just fucking erases shit. This fucker isn't shit. All he can do is erase shit. Like, cool? Let's see. Oh yeah, this little fucking shit only has the ability to erase things from existence, like I just said. Xeno erased what, universes 3, 4, 6, 9, 10? I don't fucking know. Now look, I'm not a Dragon Ball person, I don't know everything about Dragon Ball in their universe, except Goku is a fucking little bitch and has more fucking plot armor than every fight in fucking fairy tale. Xenos is the only person in the Dragon Ball universe that can casually erase shit from existence, putting him as the most powerful being. But again, you know, I guess you could argue that this fucking stupid ass angel is more powerful, but let's be honest, he's not a real fucking angel. This is a real motherfucking angel. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Xeno can just erase the accelerator from existence. It's GG, Odinus. Stop defending this pale looking motherfucker. Fuck you. Suck my Hawaiian dick. Xenos isn't shit. Erasing accelerator's existence is impossible. Come on, you guys should already know that he has his platinum wings and the third tree. Why is this even a fight? Accelerator fucking stomps Xenos. So again, some of you want to know my opinion on this fucking Xenos versus accelerator accelerator bullshit and come on you guys should already know my answer by now fuck no xenos can't win accelerator rewriting the laws of the world is already enough to not be erased from existence you disagree fuck you again you fat donkey changing the laws of the world and imaginary effects are more than enough to just do anything he wants accelerator just has more hacks than xenos do i really need to explain any more on why xenos would just get his fucking teletubby ass fucking pounded accelerator would pound xeno in the ass like a sadistic Pudinari chick and your favorite fucking Fucking dojins. Fucking freaks. Don't fucking lie to me. You like this shit. You guys are so fucking weird. Get some fucking help. Wait a second. I got you guys. One second, guys. Hello? Who is this? Hello, this is Othinus. Is this Dr. Phil? Yes, what can I help you with? Well, I know some people here that like Fudinari. Since you're a doctor that always deals with some fucking bullshit people and helps them in some type of really unexplainable way, how can you cure brain damage on a person? Well, sorry, Othinus. You can't cure a person like that. They're just fucked. Really? Aw, oh, man, that's a shame. But it makes sense. Thanks for taking your time to talk to me. There's no cure in your fucking brain damage. I feel like doing something different now, so I think I am. We've already explained that fucking accelerator fucking destroys Xenos, but now I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna put a pixelated anime character up on the screen right now, and I want you guys to guess who it is. There's no real prize for guessing it correctly, but the first person that does get it correctly, I'll just shout them out in my next video. It's just a better way and a more fun thing to do to communicate with you guys, because I feel like this could be a really fun thing. If you guys actually like me doing these random pixelated pictures of characters that you want to guess and get shouted out in each video coming out in the future, let me know. Let me see if you guys like it. I just thought it'd be a fun thing to try out, so fuck it. But don't worry, if you can't figure it out, I don't blame you. You're probably a JoJo fanboy and you can't get it anyways. Like, come on, let's be real. If you guys enjoyed my video, be sure to subscribe, drop a like, and a comment. We are almost at 1,000 subscribers and I cannot wait to hit that milestone. I will have an extra special video to be released when I hit 1,000 subscribers, so I cannot wait to do it. And don't forget, I'll steal your fucking animal or I'll throw your fucking PC down into fucking Niagara Falls. Anyways, guys, have a blessed day. Stay beautiful. Peace, peace.